All right, this is Sideways Stories from Wayside School, written by Lewis Sacker, Chapter 21, Ron. Ron had curly hair and little feet. I want to play kickball, he said. You can't play, said Terrence. Get out of here, said Dee Dee. Scram, said Jason. I want to play kickball, said Ron. Well, you're not playing, said Terrence. Beat it. So Ron stomped across the playground to the hopscotch area. Jenny was playing hopscotch with Lewis. Jenny was on nine. Lewis was only on four, but it was his turn. I want to play kickball, Ron said. So go play kickball, said Lewis. Terrence won't let me play, said Ron. Lewis walked with Ron to the kickball field. Hey, what about our hopscotch game? Jenny asked. You won, Lewis called back. I just beat Lewis in hopscotch, Jenny announced. Leslie, Rondi, and Allison all flocked around her to talk about it. Hey, Lewis, Damien shouted, you want to play kickball? All right, said Lewis, Ron and I will both play. No, said Terrence, Ron isn't playing. Anyone who wants to play can play, said Lewis. No, he can't, said Terrence, it's my ball. It isn't your ball, said Lewis. You gave it to me, said Terrence. I gave it to you to share, said Lewis. If you can't share it, you can't have it. <sighs> oh, all right, said Terrence, but I get to be the pitcher. It'll be Ron and I against everyone else, said Lewis. All right, said Jason, we'll get him. Yeah, we'll smash him, said Myron. We'll see, said Lewis. Ron pitched, and Lewis played all the other positions. 20 minutes later, they finally got three outs. The score was 21 to nothing. Ron was up first. Infield in, shouted Damien. Everybody stood really close to home plate. All right, Ron, Lewis shouted. Kick it over their heads. Ron kicked the ball only about three and a half feet. Todd picked it up and tagged him out. Now it was Lewis's turn. Everybody ran back to the edge of the kickball field. Still... Lewis kicked the ball over all of their heads and got a home run. Everybody ran all the way back in again when it was Ron's turn. This time he kicked the ball only two feet and Dee Dee tagged him out. Lewis kicked another home run. Then Ron kicked a ball about a foot, tripped over it, which meant three outs. Ron and Lewis held the other team to only five runs the next inning. That was because the bell rang and recess was over. Lewis and Ron lost 26 to 2. Ron had a great time. The next day, Ron said, I want to play kickball. You can't play, said Terrence. Get out of here, said Jason. Scram, said Dee Dee. I want to play kickball, Ron told Lewis. Lewis walked with him to the kickball field. All right, it'll be Ron and I against everyone again. Everyone was happy with those teams. Ron pitched, and Lewis played every other position. They lost 57 to 2. After the game, Lewis took Ron aside. Listen, Ron, he said. Why do you always want to play kickball? You can't kick. You can't field. You can't even run to first base. You just get smashed every time. Hey, wait a second, said Ron. Don't go blaming it all on me. You're half the team, you know. And with that, he punched Lewis in the stomach. And he punched a lot harder than he kicked. All right, stay tuned for the next one.